In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We offer this Mass for the eternal rest of Charles Ruffing. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins before the presence of the Lord and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord. And in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, we are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, you are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. We have seen throughout this week how the Jews have tried to arrest Jesus. And Jesus does not allow them to arrest him, to trap him because he's the one who gives his life. He has the authority to give his life. And we see that many reasons why, try, why they try to arrest him, to kill him. Maybe they want to kill him because of their envy, because of their hatred, because Jesus um, unfolds the hypocr the, their hypocrisy because he tells them the truth. Well, there are many reasons, right? But the main reason, again, again, and if I repeat it, it's because John the Apostle repeats it huh? again because of his divinity, because he claims to be God. Huh? They said to him, you, a man, are making yourself God. They understood him perfectly. How many times did uh, the Jews uh, express their concern? Uh, and their concern was, you're making yourself a God, like God. You're making yourself equal to God. And Jesus does not say, no, 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 I didn't mean that, I didn't mean that, no. He insists on the idea, he insists on the idea. He reinforced the idea. Well, when I was reading this scripture today, you know, the church and, and Jesus are very close to each other. Actually, we call the church the body of Christ and he is the head of the church, 
the head of the body. Why people want to stone the body of Christ today? There are many reasons, many reasons, because of the scandals, because of this or that. But I think mainly because the church claims to know the truth, to have the truth, and to teach the truth. This bothers, this bothers, because this unfolds the hypocrisy of our society. When the church claims to be the, the, the sacrament of salvation, that is to say, the sign and instrument through which, through which Jesus saves the world, that bothers, this bothers. To claim that we were founded by Christ, that the church is part of the plan of God, is part of his design of salvation, this bothers. And that's why many want to stone the church, to throw stones at the church, at the reputation of the church, through, not through blasphemies, because the church is not claiming to be God, but through calumnies, for example. Let us pray for our church. Let us pray to Jesus so that he may protect his church. And let us believe that the church is the work of Christ. It is the work of Christ. It is the work of Christ. A wonderful work, a beautiful work, and a sacrament of salvation. Let us pray in silence. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, for the church, the world, and for one another. For our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, that in all the great and small persecutions they face, they may be true to their loyalty to Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the Lord may be with the prophets of our own age like a mighty champion helping them to speak out for their right to life and to human dignity for all God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that our Eucharist today may unite us to Jesus who is in the Father and enable us to abide in Him and bring forth the good works that He desires to perform through us. Let us pray to the Lord. For the, <clears throat> for the sick, the poor, the oppressed, and persecuted, for all who are suffering, that God may be for them a rock of refuge and a stronghold of hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That Jesus, the Father's beloved son, beloved son, may take into his care all our dear ones who have died, especially Charles Ruffing, that he may bring them into the Father's presence as the trophies of his victory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God of heaven and earth, hear our prayers and grant us what we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve every fittingly, to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Lord, Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the viewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks 
that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Charles our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Giving thanks to the Lord for all his blessings and asking him the grace we need to, to witness to the Lord. Let us say the prayer Jesus taught to us. Our fathers who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Kneel or bow your heads. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen.